Golden Eye fans all around the world rejoice. One of the most well-known games that started it all for first-person shooters is back. But not exactly the way you'll remember playing it on the Nintendo 64. The graphics have been updated to modern standards, the story has been tweaked, and probably the most immediate change will be the Brosnan replacement with Daniel Craig. Oh. Nice trick, doing it without a parachute. Trying to show me up. Jumping right into the gameplay of GoldenEye 007 Reloaded, players will notice that Reloaded has a lot in common with modern shooters from the feel to the look. It will all seem very intuitive as if you've been playing the game for years. In fact, you probably have if you've been playing Call of Duty. The infamous shooter also published under Activision, who publishes this game as well. I like to call it Call of Duty 007. That's exactly how similar the two games feel as far as shooting goes. Of course, stealth still plays a large part in navigating the levels. Almost every environment gives you the option to sneak through the levels with headshots and silent takedowns. If you do, however, alert an enemy, an indicator shows up and you got a few seconds to disable him before you can sound the alarm. If the alarms do go off, you'll find yourself in an all-out firefight pretty quickly. I found myself actually just running guns blazing after the first few levels after stealth approach became quite mundane. As far as the story goes, I never actually played the original GoldenEye story on Nintendo 64, so I really can't tell you what's the same and or different about the two versions. The story will, however, take you across countries like Nigeria, scenarios from dams to jungles, and much more for a pretty average length of about 6 hours or so in a normal difficulty. The plot, without giving away too many spoilers, revolves around a rogue agent and you as 007 trying to stop them and saving the world. Not bad at all. The controls are fairly standard for a 2011 modern shooter. Again, Call of Duty fans will feel right at home. Bond's ability to sprint and vote over obstacles to make moving through the environments feel effortless. Clicking on the right stick executes a melee attack, which is great for silently taking out enemies or just finishing them off if you're up close and you don't feel like shooting or if you're loading. Auto aim helps with snapping the trigger to different enemies in sight and there are tons of weapons and more to use. Besides the main story mode, there are special side challenges called MI6 Ops, which add a lot of time and replay value to the game. The missions each have a generic objective to them, kind of like Call of Duty Spec Ops mode, I suppose. You have some like take out all enemies or defend a point for a set amount of time, and you're graded on how well you complete those objectives. Then finally, there is online and offline multiplayer. For some classic nostalgia, four player split screen multiplayer is in for offline fun just how it was back in the day on the N64. Online multiplayer ups the number to 16, so you and 15 other players can duke it out, all through a magnitude of multiplayer modes, including fan favorite golden gun mode. The multiplayer, sadly, is not as good as Call of Duty, even though it tries. Lag is bad and servers sometimes can never connect you to a game or you get kicked out often, making the process unnecessarily long. But once you do get into a game that works, it's still not that much fun. Overall, I'm not too sure what kind of game GoldenEye 007 Reloaded was meant to be or for what audience it was trying to reach out to. With controls and visuals matching the standard from some of today's popular titles and simply off the name alone, the new NO will be attracted. But it's the old fans that will probably not enjoy this title as much, especially if it's just for nostalgic purposes. Either way, an enjoyable story mode with MI6 missions and online multiplayer will surely be enough to please even the toughest of first-person shooter fans. Thanks for watching, comment, rate, and of course subscribe. Catch you all later.